Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Good morning, everybody. On this Wednesday morning, it's November 30th, and I'm glad you're here this morning. We have a lot to talk about as we get you ready for a severe weather situation today here in central and southeast Alabama. It was a rough night, I'm sorry to say, across north Alabama. There were uh, tornadoes that caused damage. Unfortunately, there were tornadoes that caused fatalities as well. As I make this now, we're getting an update from the Associated Press that three people died in mobile homes. We know that two of those were in uh, Jackson County. I'm not sure about this latest fatality. I'm guessing it may be in the same place up in a town called Rosalie. So uh, the conditions for severe weather are a little bit beefier than I thought they would be today. There's certainly plenty of spin in the atmosphere, a lot of spin available for tornadoes. There's uh, what's called CAPE. There's uh, instability. And there's an unusual amount of instability for a situation like this. Usually there's spin, but no cape. But uh, we have both of those today. So we're thinking that uh, there's going to be watches and warnings, and you can stay up to date on your app. But right now, let's bring you up to date on what's going on as I make this early in the morning, pre-dawn. Here we go. All right, here's the current map as we make this in the middle of the night. Tornado watch now extending into Coosa and Chilton County and just north of Selma till 10 o'clock this morning as we make this. Of course, new watches and warnings will come out uh, throughout the day and we'll keep you up to date. Your app will always be up to date on that, all of those. Uh, 24 tornado reports doesn't mean 24 tornadoes. Look at the corridor from central Mississippi in through north Alabama. At least two fatalities in Jackson County, Alabama overnight. Lots of reports of damage from tornadoes. And uh, this is an upgrade now. The Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk for much of us, much of central and southeast Alabama under a slight risk. So that's a higher risk, uh, upgrade from a marginal risk. This is future radar, and this takes you uh, through the morning hours and into the afternoon. And you can watch the line of showers and storms moving into the I-85 corridor between 8 and 10 o'clock in the morning into southeast Alabama during the afternoon hours. Now, we'll look at some specific uh, snapshots here. Here's 7 o'clock in the morning from just north of Lake Martin down to around the Selma area, moving southeast. 9 o'clock in the morning, looks like around Prattville, Montgomery, uh, Millbrook, Wetumpka, uh, heading on to the southeast. Again, some of those storms uh, severe, possibly tornadic. 11 o'clock in the morning, we're getting afternoon heating now, or daytime heating, and we're starting to see stronger storms shifting southeast of the Montgomery area into southeast Alabama. There's 2 o'clock in the afternoon into Barber County, and most of us will be uh, calming down by then. Our high temperature will actually be this morning, and then later on in the day, we'll have steady or falling temperatures to around 60 by late afternoon. Tonight's low 42, with west winds uh, shifting behind the front. Uh, tomorrow, mostly sunny with a high around 60 after that cool start. 35 on Friday morning, 62 the high. More showers and storms Saturday, especially Saturday night into Sunday. Still, the jury is out on whether those will be severe. Let's take these one at a time. There's the blue bars at the bottom indicating the storm system Saturday night and Sunday. This is on the European model out 10 days. Then it turns cooler back behind that secondary storm system. We'll uh, look at some uh, European temperatures here. You can see that warm day we have today, followed by the big cool down behind this storm system. And then kind of up and down. Boy, it shows um, 46 for a high around the, uh, what is that, December 9th. We'll see if that plays out. Hey, have you got your app yet uh, on your phone? Uh, make sure you have it so that you can stay up on all the uh, severe weather today. Don't forget all the warnings and watches are automatic, uh, and uh, all the alerts are automatic. Uh, plus, we'll have my blog updates. Uh, that YouTube tab will be used for any live streaming that is needed. It's a great app to have, and it's right on time. Get it on your phone. Spread the word to your friends uh, because we'll need it today. So here's the plan this morning. There will be instantaneous watches and warnings on your weather app as soon as they happen for your area. All right, that's that, that happens automatically. Also, my blog post as I post them will be uh, on your weather app. And uh, that YouTube tab on that weather app is where we'll do our live streaming. If we have to stream live, you'll see it on that YouTube app. All right, you got me? We'll be live on the radio this morning, of course, on News Talk 93.1 in Alabama country. And your forecast will be updated across the eight radio station group, which is Blue Water Broadcasting. And there'll be social media posts on Facebook and Twitter as I can get them out. Uh, I'll be spread rather thin today, but I'll be doing the very best I can. But your weather app will be your best friend today. Make sure you have it downloaded. Make sure you have all the notifications on and let your friends know about it too so they will be safe. I'll talk to you later. Have a good day.
Rich Thomas Weather.